Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Tut from Joan Stark. I almost wish I had seen this one. Um, well, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm thinking this could be an interesting pairing. If you like the 3D, uh, you know, if, if you're a Cubine addict, <clears throat> I know somebody. Um, I did this a couple days ago, right? This one. And I'm thinking, ooh, that could be an interesting border around if you just want to like totally, uh, well, I think, and I think I might just totally geek out in the, uh, the three dimensional kind of, uh, world. <laughs> it could be fun. All right. So super simple. And then just like that, like the Middleton that I just showed you is super impressive. All right. So this one is going to start with a couple of or two sets of parallel lines. Par parallel in whatever way you want to do them because I'm going to dare say that you could make it wiggly. <laughs> All right, and have a lot of fun with that. Okay, then once you have that set in whatever way you want it, then we're going to do a zigzag. So going from, you know, one side to the next, up to you, how you make, you know, how wide or whatever you make these. And I, I, I know no matter how this ends up, and maybe I should prove that at the end, um, <laughs> no matter how this ends up, it's going to be amazing. And you know what? I think I, I well, let, let's finish this first and then see where we go. All right, then. We're going to put some lines, and I'm going to say, just as a frame of reference, you could do it however you want, kind of about midway. So from the point, you know, from so top or bottom, this is kind of like the tangled doodah, but with a, with a zigzag. And, oh, look at me, I'm drawing on my nail. Ah, oh, well. Um, I wish I was ambidextrous, so that way I could, I, have you seen people, that, like they'll tangle on their nails? That would be so fun, but all right, there we go. We got one a little one on the side there. Then <clears throat> connecting these lines that we just created to the points. So from here and then come, just because I like to and coming out and you can see how it's going, right? So both sides. I haven't decided. Well, look at this little weird line here. I knew it was there. Get it to look a little bit straight. There we go. Just so it matches. That's all. <laughs> so on both sides, and you can see it already. You can see it bending and uh, folding, we should say. And then from here, we'll just guess it would be going that at that angle. That is essentially it. Now, I, I'm going to do this Oh, because I kind of, no, let's see. Do I like how it, yeah, I like how I did it. All right. <laughs> so up to you how you want to finish this. Um, and actually, yeah, I'll, I think I'll do it the same way. Oh, that's not the pen I wanted. <laughs> this is the pen I wanted. All right. So highly recommend you have, uh, you know, black, white, and gray. Okay. Let me start at the bottom here because I, I want to decide what I do with the top. And it, it honestly doesn't matter. Whatever direction you want to take this in, this is all decorating and playing. If you take a look at the For More Inspiration link in the description section and take a look at Joan's step out she gives several examples of you know how you could do this uh, you know one in um oh and it's really cute in the big sample that she has she has these different sizes and only doing this part with the with the pencil with the graphite in gray and it still looks neat so that's for you to have fun with this is just an example 
But when we do cubine, that's what we do is we have, you know, one side is, it's like this, <laughs> right here. This right here is cubine. So dark gray and leaving it your original tile color, whatever that may be. And you see how it creates such dimension. So that's why we want to do this. So that's where I say it's up to you and, how, and play with it because you might want to get a certain look out of it. All right, so I'm just, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And then let's do, because I'm seeing this as, you know, each, you know, like this is a corner, like, like, oh, as if, as if we were to, where's another tile? Well, if I could, if, if I could cut that, that, you know, directly, let's pretend, you know, so that, that's how I'm seeing it. So let's do it that way. And you don't have to shade these all the way in. So for instance, you could just do a little like that. And I was, I am going to do the top side. I just, I'm like going, wait, did I just mess things up? No, I don't think I did. And if I, if I did, we'll just go in a different direction. But yeah. So you can, the amount of graphite you put in will just really determine how dark of gray you have. So you could always start off with a little, spread it around with the tortilla, on, <clears throat> excuse me, or use a marker. Up to you. Up to you. All right. Now. Yeah, because yeah, I was like, well, we could turn it this way. What I had done, yeah, in my sample, and I think... Oh, no, it comes out different. What I had done there was I did every other skip here. Skip. Oh, no, no, it still turns out. Why does it look? Oh, that's because I did it. <laughs> it's because I put the gray over here. That's why it doesn't look right. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. I'm <laughs> like, no, that'll have two together. Ah. I was only looking at a certain part. All right. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's so funny. Yeah, and see, the, to me, the top, my opinion, top needs something. Oh, you know... Ooh, let's do this. I, 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 a lot of times I like to do something different, unless it's like so super cool that what I did in, in my version of the step out, I'm turning it around this way. Let's do this. Um, but I, I like to just do something different. Let's put lines in. Kind of aura in. Well, you know, if I'm going to aura it, well, then I should turn it this way. <laughs> this is why also that, you know, when you do it light, see how wiggly it is and it looks really cool. Although with that nice, well, no, see, look at how it doesn't matter. I like it when things doesn't, when, I like it when things doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, see, there we go. I like that. Oops, let's put one right here. Because you could have, well, and if you were to use, you know, markers, if you have different shades of gray, then you could have fun with that. Um. But I like it. This makes me think, I mean, it's kind of very origami-ish uh, as well. Um, there was this toy that I had a long time ago. Okay, we'll, we'll see who knows. It was, I think it came like in a, I don't know what you call that shape, Hex hexagon-ish type shape, but 3D. And you unwound it and it, 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 it kind of came in a roll, looked like this. And then you could twist it and, you know make it into different things. It was kind of cool. Um, I probably still have it somewhere in a box somewhere. Um, super neat. Oh, I like this one. So have fun with it. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, would love it. Oh, wait, no, I promised, didn't I? Oh, I didn't promise. I said I was going to think about it. Okay, let's just do. Um, as I tell you, if you're enjoying this, please click on the like button. And if you like it enough to see more Please click to subscribe. Okay, let's do wonky. Um, but I'm going to do wonky this way. Okay, so let's just say we have a nice little 
curve. Oh, like that. Oh, and because I did it sort of in the middle, they will carefully aura it above, even though I am, there we go. Look at how I did that. All right. And then let's, we're not worrying about anything. Okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> and I think I'll, I'll decorate it the same way so that way we can. And then, like I said, you know, going about halfway to make those lines, this one, and as you can see, I don't think it's not going to matter. You know, they're a little bit different sizes and I don't think it's going to matter because each one is unique. Well, let's do them in order. All right. And then... And then if you're good at, you know, creating, I don't know what they call that, you know, kind of dimension and depth, you know, where you start big and then go small. I mean, this kind of, kind of, sort of does, but if you're good at that, you could have some fun with it. And my lines were getting a little wonky, so I just thought, let's turn the tile like we know we're so we should. <laughs> All right, and then if this is here, oh yeah, then this is gonna have a line go in there. All right, now let's fill in one side love it um and by the way so while i'm filling in in the description section i mentioned the step outs and i always do my own version and i you know usually i will um on my own version you know i might like divide out um a step this one i just i kind of left the the end where Joan is showing uh some ways to to shade it I basically just shaded it and you know play and shade and, and have fun um that's the only I think that's really the only thing oh oh no I take that back no I did subdivide the the zigzag border just because that's you know it's how we usually do it it's like okay here's the border here's the zigzag All right, and then we'll do those lines. Do that before I do the shading. I don't know why. You know, just gotta shake up the order because it's fun. All right, and then ooh, now here's it. Oh nope, here's what we'll do. Follow. So we'll essentially be auraing whatever this line is. So going from peak, you know, to peak. Or, you know, in this section anyway. And just follow whatever happened. And as you can see right there, it doesn't need to be exact. <laughs> close. As, you know, in Zentangle, close will win you the cigar. For sure. Oh, I think I might almost like this one even better. All right. And then, so this one, I was doing it on the right side. Yeah. Skipping one. Oh, why my brain is sticking. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. The, the always second guessing kind of thing. All right. 
right, I am totally digging this one. I'm glad I did it. Glad you talked me into it. <laughs> oh, and it's almost, oh, look at that. Wait, let me pull it down. <laughs> Without planning. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. All right. Love it. Love it. Hope you did too. Um, also in the description section below the links to the step outs is my link tree. So when you click on that, it'll take you to all of the links that I want to share with you. Um, so website where you can follow my blog on my blog. I, I post, this is a daily tangle. So I post a daily tangle. And, uh, then when I, uh, if I, <laughs> when, I post a, a recap for, you know, one of the classes that I do. I will also post that there. Um, the videos, of course, come on to the uh, the YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that and, you know, subscribe, then you will see when those come out. Um, also, if you happen to be on Facebook, you can follow my page. That one is in the icons. And then in the, the big links with, with words, um, uh, you'll see... Facebook community group page group. I keep I always want to say group page, but it's a group. So we have a private group on on Facebook for Tangle Addicts. So if you'd like to join us, we would love to welcome you into our community. We have a lot of fun, um, and it's it's definitely a no pressure type of uh, type of group. We want to see what everybody has done, celebrate whatever wins you might have. It's just you know, it's just fantastic. So come and join us. There are four questions that you have to answer in order to gain entry, just so you're aware. Um, let's see what else. There's, uh, you know, some other, other links. It's pretty self-explanatory though, uh, but I just want to make sure to highlight those. And yeah, so with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.